Hello, beautiful souls. If you are here, then welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to the reading today. Of course, as I always say, by being present with this reading, you are actually contributing your energy to it in a very powerful way. This is actively co-creating all of the messages that come through the reading. I feel as though what is coming into play with this energy of indecision is that someone may be feeling guilty regarding either being in this indecisive place, being at this crossroads. It's also possible that someone could be guilty because of the choice or decision that their heart desires to make. For some reason, there is also an element here of possibly outsiders or other people not really understanding the decision that's being made and possibly judging that decision. I'm seeing whispering, so you might feel as though there is external gossip surrounding whatever choice or decision is being made here. It also might feel as though something involving this indecision or this choice being made might feel as though it is impossible. For some reason, I saw brown curly hair here for someone that could be resonant with believe in the impossible. It's almost as though someone feels like they're in an impossible situation or what they really desire the most feels impossible. So, there may be some concern here that I'm struggling to make this decision because what I really desire doesn't feel like a possibility here. It's like someone has seen a vision beyond what seems practical, possible, reasonable, beyond what other people most likely understand here. And my guides are telling me that is actually this person perceiving into a higher vibrational timeline that they are rising to align with, but might not fully yet be aligned with. So what is going on here is it's almost as though metaphorically someone has been on the first floor of a building Let's call that a particular timeline. And let's say that from this first floor of a building, you see two hallways. Let's call these two hallways your choices. And you're standing there at the, let's say, outside the elevator. The elevator is behind you, so you don't quite see it yet. You're looking forward, seeing these two paths, these two hallways, choices that you have. If you are a spiritually conscious person, you're very in tune with your intuition. So tangibly, you only see two paths, but something in your gut says there's more here that I'm not able to fully physically perceive. That is your intuition trying to tell you that there are more floors above you. And ultimately, as you have undergone this spiritual awakening, you are learning how to find and operate the elevator of this building in order to rise to higher levels. From which vantage point you will then be presented with options that may have seemed impossible because technically they were not available to you on the first floor. But that you always sensed were essentially out there for you. From Divine Muscular Tight yes, if you believe. <laughs> 